Hey, viewers, I'm Derek from 4x4 Adventure Western Australia. This channel is all about 4x4 camping adventures. No matter who you are, no matter you're old person or school person, let's get them some fun. Now, if you like the videos I create, I'd love you to subscribe. Just a button below the video. Today, I would like to do an honest review of the Adventure Kings rooftop tent. Now, I've, I've owned this rooftop tent for almost a couple of years and I love it. However, there are always some good points and bad points of a certain uh, camping products. And in this video, I'd like to provide you my personal opinion about this rooftop tent. Maybe I'll provide you a few hacks as well <coughs> to, uh, to make your life a little bit easier when using this rooftop tent. First of all, let me show you how long it actually takes to, uh, to open this rooftop tent. And I'll also provide you the time, uh, the time that takes to, to open this rooftop tent. So guys, it didn't take me that long at all. It took me about six minutes, if you can see it, six minutes um, to set up this rooftop tent. And that is for a person who has already used it for a number of times um, and, and already familiar with the rooftop tent. So, why rooftop tent? I guess uh, my answer is Originally when I bought a rooftop tent or originally when I decided to buy a rooftop tent I think uh, <clears throat> it is nice uh, it's high, high up on the ground so you don't have contact on the ground uh, my wife loves it and um, well it, it, I think it has a reputation of easy setup and easy pack up as well and it provides you the space and comfort in, uh, in certain models of rooftop tent they might actually give you an annex at the bottom as well. So an annex, for those who, who doesn't know what an annex is, is basically a, like a tent sort of shelter below the rooftop tent. And, um, and it provides you maybe additional room for, for your visitors. So what's good about rooftop tent? Well, I guess number one, you get a space and comfort. That's what you get from a rooftop tent. You get lots of space, you get, uh, when you have space, you have comfort as well and you can easily sleep two people in here. I guess I'll go through some of the uh, bad points as well while I'm here. Uh, obviously you have to provide your own uh, sleeping bag or blankets and uh, check this out. When, when you're in a windy environment like Albany, this sort of thing keeps you awake the zippers they're super annoying and also do you hear that the flyers the flyers are actually flipping around like crazy when when it's like a, a windy condition uh, it flaps around so it keeps waking you up uh, so that will be something that you know Adventure Kings people they can think about how to secure uh, the, the, the rain weather flyers well I've got to say as well I've been sleeping in this tent for maybe less than 10 times I've been doing this in winter, uh, summer as well. So it blocks a fair bit of light. Uh, however, it gets really, really hot. Like a steam, um, like, you know, you steam your food. Uh, it's like inside. Uh, but in winter time, it's excellent. Uh, given that when you have a quiet condition, this will be an excellent tent to sleep in. Actually, uh, look at the quality of the canvas uh, for a tent with the recommended retail of around 800, 800 900. Uh, it's actually quite a quality canvas and I never had any water leaked in. Um, yeah, and it provides you some of these loops allowing you to 
do something like this. So you keep your, um, your cover up using this little button there. Uh, likewise on, on four sides. Well, I guess another disadvantage of this uh, rooftop tent is it could be the type of person who use it. Uh, if you're not the type of person who likes climbing at night time or who hates uh, dirty food getting into the tent, this may not be the tent for you. Because every time you've got to, uh, or if you have left something in the car, you have to climb down and all the way to pick it up. So make sure you keep all your essentials with you uh, when you use this rooftop tent. Other than that, it looks great. If you, given that if you have set it up properly, uh, and if you ever open these windows, you get a very nice view in the morning. Uh, <clears throat> it does come with a couple of uh, metal sort of wire thing thingies that extends from the bottom. There's a hole here, and you use this kind of a grommet to support, uh, in itself support itself using its flex. Uh, and uh, it is actually quite a good construction given its nice price. Guys, I think this could be another advantage of a rooftop tent. So, in the inside the rooftop tent, it actually provides you a storage compartment to put your stuff in. So you can leave your sleeping bag, your, uh, your blankets and everything in. Uh, it, it is more, um, more compact, that is the right word. So that, that means you don't have to do anything like that. Stuff everything, your, your sleeping stuff inside your, inside your cabin. So it might potentially save some space. So guys, let's see how fast it will take me to put it back all together. Right guys, so that is it. I took about seven minutes and don't know if you can see it. Uh, where is it? Anyway, seven minutes and uh, 30 something seconds, uh, which I actually forgot to stop the, uh, the uh, stopwatch a little bit earlier. Uh, but that is the, uh, the fold up only. I haven't put a cover back on and tell you what, the most horrible part of a rooftop tent that is fold out and in uh, is to put a cover back on. So how do you do that? It all depends on how well you pack that folding as well. So I'm going to show you a few hacks of how to, how, how to fold the rooftop tent a little bit easier. You need to make some necessary modifications. So guys, what I'm about to show you is a few modifications that I've done uh, to, to make my life a little bit easier, mainly for the pack up of the rooftop tent. So I've put a bit of a ratchet strap in here, riveted down on the aluminium frame, and that keeps the, uh, the canvas in. Um, I have changed the original, I don't know, I forgot what that is. That is such a pain in the backside. So I've changed uh, that mechanism to a regular cam buckle. And I've added actually another two uh, cam buckles on the side. So that actually links to the other side. Let me, I'll let you have a look. Right there. I put a couple of hooks on this side. So when you are packing down a rooftop tent, it gives you a bit, it gives you some extra strength to pull down, which I'll tighten a little bit later. And also uh, in here, I've got a ratchet strapped uh, to, um, to strap it down, obviously. Uh, the reason the reason I did that is because I um, I store my sleeping gears in there as well. So at the end at the end of the of the pack up, it actually is quite fat. So uh, you need some help uh, to to fold the rooftop tent back in nicely.
guys, I've also missed out, uh, missed out a couple of points. Uh, you know how, how the ladder, when you, when you extend it out, it clicks? You actually have to, you actually have to drill another few holes uh, to suit your height of the rooftop tent. In my case, uh, I like it to be a little bit lower, so it reduces the wind drag of my setup. But I reckon a rooftop tent, this type of rooftop tent is actually designed to go onto the roof. And uh, in that case, it will give you an easier pack up because in my case, this is blocking me to, to pull the zippers. And that brings me to the second point. I modified the zipper. Well, I didn't actually modify it, but I have put this extension strap onto the zipper. So it allows me to pull Pull, um, pull the zipper through this narrow channel a lot easier and uh, mind you when you pack this up you have to be extra careful uh, the zippers that the zippers uh, don't get caught onto the canvas otherwise it will take 10 years to take it out and um, yeah it will be such a pain in the backside there are good points and bad points about having a rooftop tent and partly it is because of the type of rooftop tent and also partly because of Adventure King's um, construction. So I guess uh, the, the good point about rooftop tent is uh, easy to set up, yeah, maybe. Five minutes is not a big deal. Easy to pack up, no, not really. But I think it, it will still be a lot easier than like a traditional ground tent. But uh, I haven't included the fact that there are some really nice wags out there that gives you a really fast packing and fast uh, setup as well. Another point I'm trying to make is that it has a lot of space. So if you are after some com com comfy, comfy sleep overnight, uh, yeah, the, uh, the mattress is quite good, 75 millimeters mattress. Over time, uh, it gets softened and you can touch the, the base of a rooftop tent. So you may need some more mattress upgrade eventually. The third point is that uh, it's off the ground. Uh, you won't get disturbed by ants, insects, animals, things like that. But tell you, tell you what, there are some nice wags that has uh, the uh, lift off ground uh, option as well. Now, let's get to the bad points, disadvantages of this rooftop tent. Um, I think after using this rooftop tent for a long, long period of time, uh, the, uh, the wind noise is a problem or the winds is a problem. If you're the type of person who is easily disturbed by any noise uh, while you're sleeping, uh, even with winds, this is not the right tent for you. Because uh, as I told you, when a wind picks up at night, the tent flips around, the flyers is a killer of your sleep. So it flips around like crazy and it's unpredictable as well. The zippers, uh, ding, 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 all the time, it's super annoying. And uh, I guess you can modify the zippers by cutting all of them down using some cable ties. Uh, I mean, replace them with cable ties. And there will be a, an, an ultimate option for that. But the flyers, I, I couldn't think of anything else that I, that I can modify the flyers to make it, uh, to make it nice and quiet. I guess the last point I want to make is that uh, the, the pack up of the PVC cover. So the folding part of it is okay, I can tolerate that. Uh, you just need to be very patient to do that. Um, you need to make several modifications to make it work a lot better. Uh, like how I've done, replace the straps, uh, put more straps in so you can pull it down nicely, tie down points, things like that. Uh, the PVC cover, I can't think of anything else I can make it better. Um, it seems pretty easy putting the cover back on but I think it is much easier to do it in pairs like in two person um, and part of the reason is it picks up the wind the, I mean the wind actually blows it away uh, so it makes it very difficult to to pack up in a windy environment uh, another point is that the zippers uh, they if you have put if you like to put your sleeping gear in a rooftop tent the zippers uh, will, are very unlikely to, uh, to be in the same alignment. You have to make sure the zippers are aligned correctly, otherwise it will jump a zip. Um, and it will, it will be such a pain in the backside to, to pack up the, uh, the PVC tent, uh, the PVC cover. Uh, will I use a rooftop tent again? 
Um, no, maybe not. Because every time, I'm not a, personally, I'm not a patient person. Every time I packed it up, I know there are some tricks, but then in the end, I'll still swear and I'll, I'll get angry. So for the sake of my mood, maybe not. Uh, and tell you what, the disadvantages I've told you, uh, I haven't put, I haven't account for any other factors as well. You know, when, when you're in Australia, summer, springtime, you've got 10 flies, a, a, a storm of flies uh, flying around your head and it makes it a lot more difficult to pack up. Uh, you want something that is really, really um, convenient. And um, I guess the uh, rooftop tent has an idea of running around to pull things out, pull, th uh, pull things back in. I, I kind of don't like that idea as well. And the fact that uh, it is on the roof, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult to pack up really in general. So imagine you have got something on the ground, it's easier to, to put things back together. So I guess I will downgrade myself to a swear. So as a conclusion, I'm going to pull down the rooftop tent and replace it with a roller titan tray because it is going to give me a much lighter setup and a heck of a storage space. If you are interested in the Roller Titan tray, please check out the video that I've posted earlier about the first impression of the tray, just up there on the right hand side. Guys, if you like the contents that I create, please subscribe and follow the link in the description so you won't miss any of my videos and posts. I'll see you next time.